enthusiastic introduction. This is a very, very exciting day for me because it is my first official attempt at doing a long range flight. I'm using this custom version of Dave C's long range micro. The bind and fly version is called the Flywoo Explorer. And I have my naked GoPro on top here, all set up with the Redshifters GoPod. So I'm hoping I've done all my GPS testing. It took a long time, I broke an arm trying to figure it out, but I think it's finally working and I'm really, really excited to, and a little nervous, honestly, to try a long range flight. I'm gonna head out to some mountains here in Los Angeles and hopefully I don't crash and lose the drone. So I found what looks to be a moderately far spot to fly, aiming to go somewhere up there. We'll see if we can make it happen. Not crazy long range, but you know. So on my first attempt on my way back down, I actually totally lost my video signal and almost crapped my pants. Luckily I had set up my GPS rescue, I flipped the switch, and it gained altitude, got back my video, and then I took over the controls. Holy crap. So that was uh, exhilarating and very scary. I actually lost video up there for a brief moment and I was waiting, trying to gain altitude, to see if I get the signal back. And then I flipped my GPS rescue switch and thank God it worked. It actually worked. The first time I tried to go long range, I had to use GPS rescue. <laughs> And it was a good lesson learned of as far as like keeping an eye on when you're behind a hill, behind a little peak that the radio is not going to penetrate through. Because when you're up there on the quad, it's much harder to see what line of sight is than from looking down here. Um, but I got some cool footage. It was a great first attempt. So here's my second attempt. Same hill. I picked a different ridge that was more line of sight. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.